Hello everyone. Welcome back to Pinky's Kitchen. Today I'm making paneer with the fresh coriander. I just got the leaves. I take the stems out. I just only got leaves. And I got a half a yellow capsicum and a half a red capsicum. And uh, here I got a tablespoon of uh, chili flakes. I got a half a teaspoon of um, carom seeds, cumin seeds and uh, Himalayan salt. You can put according to your taste. If you want to have a little bit more chili flakes, you can add or skip it as well if you want. Or you can half it. And next to that, I got the citric acid, which I'm going to put in the milk and uh, make a fresh paneer. And this side, I just got the... Uh, three liters of uh, full cream milk and it's nearly on the boiling point when I put the milk in the pan I put about uh, three to four spoons of uh, water first and then put the milk in because if you put uh, the milk straight in and then sometime it uh, burns at the bottom of the pan so always make sure put about maybe three four spoons of water and when it start a little bit warming up, then you can add the milk in. So you can, as you can see, it's uh, starting to boiling point. And now we slowly have a, maybe one or two boils. Uh, boil for another two minutes. And um, then I'll put the citric acid and make a paneer out of that. I got another recipe which I already put like you know when I made a simple just a paneer not add anything else in but this one you can add eat as a snack or you can mix with the salad so you can have a paneer salad and it's really good source of vegetarian people who just having a maintaining their diet or on the diet a good source of protein to eat so you can have a protein out of uh, the paneer so nearly about one or two boils and after one or two boils you can switch the heat off and uh, then we're going to add the citric acid if you don't have a citric acid you can add um, half a lemon uh, just a squeeze take the seeds out and squeeze the half lemon or you can also use uh, maybe two tablespoons of white vinegar. It's up to you. Whatever you have, you can choose it, use it. I switch the heat off. As you still can see, it's still boiling. I need about use the quarter spoon first of uh, citric acid. If we need, we can sprinkle it a little bit more. But I think half the like quarter teaspoon will work. Hopefully, sometimes you need, depends on the milk, like, you know, sometimes you need to put a little bit more. But uh, it doesn't matter if you're putting a little bit more, but you can wash it with the cold water soon. And then it's not going to be staying in. So just slowly stir your milk. And as you can see, it all the panis coming out. So just keep doing that. And after two, three minutes, you can see all the milk's liquid gone green. So then you have to stop it and uh, rest it for two minutes. And then you can drain all the water out and make a paneer out of that. As you can see, after five minutes, it uh, all the paneer come out and now in this stage we have to put all the spices in and then we're gonna add the we're gonna add the our capsicum and the coriander in This way you can eat as a snack 
or you can have make a salad so that gives you nice flavor with this fresh coriander and uh, capsicum and all the spices now you can see all the green water just getting separated from the paneer so now we have to drain that for this I just have a very fine cotton cloth which is really put that very nice muslin cloth which I just put it in the sink and uh, I just got a small pan underneath so I'm gonna drain all the water out and then I'll go sh I'll show you how it looks like I just uh, drain most of the water out now the last little bit water in so I'm gonna drain that out and I'm going to wash with the cold water once just uh, slowly put the cold water in and then you have a fork and just try to cook it once or twice and then you can have a excess amount of salt or all the spices like you know if we put extra they're gonna wash away now I'm gonna drain the water fully and then I'll show you the next process so the plates we used it to, for the capsicum and the spices I just got a big plate and I got a little plate I'm gonna turn the little plate inside out and uh, I'm just gonna put this paneer at the top of that and then I'm gonna put something heavy so I'm gonna fill that pan with the cold water and put right at the top and just uh, leave it for a little while so I fill that same pan with the cold water and I put right at the top if you don't want to put the water at the top if you have a, any heavy objects in your house chakla or anything you can put right at the top so as you can see all the excess water is coming out so I'm gonna keep it about two hours like that and then I'm just gonna take it out and I'll show you how the final process looks like it's nearly one and a half hour you can see all the excess water come out so with that uh, pressure of this uh, water which we put at the top so now I'm just gonna take it out from the cloth and I'll show you how the paneer look like now this is our paneer look like that's your choice if you want to make it round shape or the square shape when you wrap it at the last stage you can uh, choose the shape you want and now you can cut it in the small dices you can enjoy with your drink or you can have a paneer salad so when you're having a salad make this mix the salad everything together and then have a few small pieces of uh, paneer it's really good source of uh, protein and if you want to look the same uh, recipe you can go on my Instagram page and if you want to ask any questions please write it down in comments and if you like the recipe please like share and subscribe the channel and you can try in your own kitchen and, uh, I'll see you with the new recipe another day for bye for now and god bless everyone bye